So what makes the RIM method special? The main thing that is unique about the RIM method is the underlying premise that we are whole even when we've had traumatic experience. So that rather than um, having a broken model, we really operate from the place that we as human beings never lose our wholeness no matter what our experience. And that all we have to do is to clear away the remnants of the memories of that experience. And we remember that wholeness again, just like we were when we were little infants coming into the world and looking into the eyes of an infant always reminds me of that wholeness. Can you imagine, you know, looking at an infant in the eyes and because they've had some kind of different experience thinking they're not whole? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's probably the most important framework difference. You mentioned the term broken model. What does that mean? Well, in, you know, in traditional medical models, uh, there is the idea that we have a diagnosis, that there's something that needs to be fixed. And so in the RIM model, we actually, as facilitators, learn to look through very different filter. So that we're looking through the filter of wholeness, that everything that is needed for someone to heal, either physically or emotionally, is already present. It's already present uh, within the resources of this individual and that we just need to access that and help them really bring that forth again and address uh, whatever kinds of traumas that have been there, that we actually pull the resources and have those address the traumas so that the traumas uh, are really dissolved, mm -hmm. they're really erased, mm -hmm. and that, because uh, sometimes what happens is our memory of who we are is connected to the memory, of a trauma, but that's just an experience. It was a transient experience, it's over, it's done. Who we are is so much more than that, and that's, it's a return to that awareness and that reality and a feeling. It's actually a felt body experience of the wholeness that happens in the RIM process because RIM is also, it's not just at the head level. It actually involves a process that goes back and forth between the thought and the feeling, between the mind and the body, so that there is a whole brain experience that is happening. So there's a lot of body sensation that is present. There's also thoughts, and we use words as the operating system to be able to make sense of all of it.